Welcome back to PC Builder, I'm Jason. Black Friday and Cyber Monday deals are finally here. They're finally here. We're gonna use those deals to build three amazing gaming PCs. We're gonna start off with a $700 1440p gaming PC targeting 144 hertz refresh rate. Then we're gonna move on to a $1200 1440p 240 hz build. And we'll finish off with a $2000 4K super high refresh rate gaming PC. Remember, if you get value out of this video, give it a like, this makes a huge difference to the channel. And of course, subscribe, click that bell icon. That way you get notified when we release cool content. With that, Let's jump into it. This video is sponsored by Deepcool with 21% off their AK620 high-end air cooler and LT720 premium all-in-one liquid cooler. Take advantage of the holiday shopping discount to get incredible style and performance from the AK620, one of the leading air cooling solutions for Intel and AMD Ryzen CPUs. Or grab the LT720 at its lowest price ever and enjoy a unique RGB infinity mirror pump head and 360 millimeter liquid cooling performance with low noise. And Deepcool makes secure installation easy, even for new PC builders. Take your PC builds to the next level and get a huge discount using the links in the video description. Let's jump into the $715 gaming PC. I finished out at $714.36, but let's start off with the GPU because that's really the important thing when we're talking about 1440p, 144 hertz refresh rate. What GPU are you going with? Honestly, Nvidia at this price point just really doesn't have anything that I would touch because they're all gonna lack the amount of VRAM that we want. We want 12 gigs or at least 10 gigs of VRAM. 12 would be great. That's why we're going with the Radeon RX 6700 XT. And these are all dropping to 299. And the ones that aren't 299, as soon as the ones that are 299 sell out, they're dropping those to 299. So just buy the cheapest one. Honestly, they're all about the same. I, I would say maybe the Sapphire Pulse is slightly better. A Power Color Hellhound uh, is a pretty nice one too. A little bit more expensive but they are probably gonna completely sell out over Black Friday, so I would grab these if you want. This has been the best price to performance GPU for 1440p, hands down, hands down. And you're just, Jason, what's the performance level of that GPU? Well, let's go check it out. This is TechSpot's RTX 4060 Ti 16 gigabyte review, and you can see here, this is across a uh, 15 game average at 1440p and includes a lot of really hard to run titles, like for instance, The Last of Us Part One at ultra, ultra details. And you can see the 6700 XT, not that far behind the 4060 Ti 16 gigabyte. Now I would not get the 4060 Ti 8 gigabyte because you're gonna run in a VRAM and a lot of new upcoming titles, AAA titles, just don't wanna get only eight gigs of VRAM in 2023. That's why the RX 6700 XT 74, average FPS at 1440p, but if you take a look at some of those quote unquote slightly easier to run games like Marvel's Spider-Man Remastered, 1440p, very high quality settings, you can see the 6700 XT, 108 average FPS, so super high performance from the RX 6700 XT for not a lot of money. Let's jump through the rest of the build. Let's start off with the Ryzen 5600 for the CPU, and it comes with an included stuff cooler, which is great, because we're actually gonna use that, just keep the overall cost down. If you wanna go ahead and spend 20, $25 on an aftermarket cooler, you certainly can. Don't necessarily need to for the Ryzen 5600. Very powerful, six cores, 12 threads, $127, and it will get all the performance out of that 6700 XT. For the motherboard, we are gonna go with my favorite B550M, which is the ASRock B550M Pro 4, $89 right now. It's got upgraded audio on it. It's got plenty of rear panel connectivity. This is a phenomenal little motherboard. I absolutely love it at $90. For the RAM, we only need DDR4 3200CL16. You can go ahead and bump up the speed of the RAM for about another $20 or $30 up to 3600CL16. I'm not sure you really need to for this GPU. I would probably get this kit for about $32. For the drive, we want at least a terabyte of space. You can go 500 gigs. You're not saving much money. You save like $10. I would urge you to get one terabyte of NVMe SSD storage. The other thing is drives with DRAM have basically fallen to just about three to eight dollars more than their DRAMless cousins. So I would go ahead and get one with DRAM like the Team Group MP34, one terabyte, $46. For the case you have a lot of different options, I love the Phoenix Nova Mesh, $57, comes with three included ARGB fans, it was great to build in. We did our Ryzen 7600 building it. Honestly, 
I just can't recommend this case enough. You're like, Jason, this case is not even on sale. It doesn't need to be on sale. It's just one of the best micro ATX cases. If you do go with an ATX size motherboard, of course, there's an ATX size of this for about seven bucks more. For the power supply, we really only need about 600 watts. We could go with like an, a, the PVA Prestige unit that I had been recommending for about $51, but that's on the speculative list for C tier. So I decided to get one that's actually been, had all the full reviews and we've got all the full data on, not that much more. The Corsair CX-M650, really, really good unit by Corsair. This is a semi-modular unit, 650 watts. That's really all we need for $65. So all told for $714, you're gonna get an insanely performative 1440p, 144 hertz-ish refresh rate. That's the kind of monitor that you're gonna be looking to drive with this gaming PC. You're gonna get tons and tons of frames. And the good news about this is in the future, you could drop a 5800X3D in the CPU slot. You can upgrade that GPU. It's got a lot of portability. In fact, let me give you a potential upgrade option for the GPU. I love this option. RX 6800, only $70 more, and you can fit it in the same power profile so we don't have to upgrade our power supply. 600 watts is really all we need with the Ryzen 5600, so power efficient. Right now for $369, you can pick up the XFX Speedster model. These GPUs perform just 10% below an RTX 4070. Totally insane value right now. There's also a more premium MSI version you can get for about $389. I'll leave them linked down in the video description. Let's jump through a great 1440p mid-range gaming monitor deal that's going on right now. Of course, if you missed our Black Friday PC gaming deals video that we had to go live just a day or two ago, you will have seen this monitor. It's an insane value, insane value, but I will leave that other video linked down in the video description if you wanna check out all the monitor deals and all the other deals we went through. This is the Acer Nitro XV271U. Really phenomenal 180 hertz panel. It's flat, it's IPS. It's kind of everything that you want in a phenomenal 1440p gaming monitor. And it's $179, what is going on? This level of performance has been available up more like 300-ish dollars until, until the last couple months and the prices have just keep falling and falling. Black Friday, $179. This is a really insane value. Let's jump into our $1,200 1440p destroyer build for Black Friday. And this is gonna give you amazing performance. Remember, everything is linked down in the video description. Did you know that we actually built a very similar build to this on our live stream this month? We do a members over live stream every month and this month we built this amazing gaming PC. So check it out and join if you wanna be a part of that. I finished out at $1,180.84, but I have an option to go even lower if you want. Let me give you three different options with the GPU because that's really what's powering this thing here is the GPU platform. We went with the RX 7800 XT. Now we actually used the Gigabyte Gaming OC one, 16 gigs of VRAM again insanely performative GPU, 499. I'm not seeing many deals on this, but 499 is a pretty good price for this card. Has AV1 encoding, kind of has all the latest goodness to it. Good alternative, if you want something a little bit cheaper, you maybe don't need AV1 encoding, you can get away with H.265, it's absolutely fine. Look for the Radeon RX 6800 XT deals. There's, they are selling some of these on fire sale. Right now, the cheapest one is the Phantom Gaming for $449. We'll go over the performance just a moment, but it's a pretty good discount. For the folks who absolutely have to have an NVIDIA RTX GPU out there, look at for the RTX 4070. The Zotac one right now is selling for $514, but completely sold out of Amazon just about an hour ago, so I'm kind of... Uh, uh, the next step up for these GPUs is more like $540, $550. This is really the discount option out there. So it is a little bit more expensive. Let's talk about performance of these GPUs though. What are you getting? Well, look at the 4070 and the 6800 XT. The 6800 XT, 1440p, 15 game average at tech spot, actually outperforms the 4070. A little embarrassing for NVIDIA here. It does get a little bit worse for them too. And look at that, the 6800 that you can find for $369, not that far away, not that far away. The 7800 XT, comfortable lead-ish, 108 average FPS. Now, obviously ray tracing, NVIDIA has a slight advantage, although the 12 gigs of VRAM on the 4070, can, can be an issue if you wanna go ultra, ultra details at 1440p in a couple of titles. If you're considering 4K, the 7800 XT, 6800 XT will give you at least 60 FPS, but the 4070, yeah, kind of not in, in all titles. It's right there on the edge, but for whatever reason, RTX 4000 series cards, as the resolution goes up, perform worse than their Radeon counterparts in terms of the overall GPU scaling, but still, it's about 60 FPS. Let's jump through the rest of the build. Remember, 
Building a gaming PC, most of our money should go for a GPU. Then we just want a CPU that won't bottleneck it. Unfortunately, those older CPUs like Ryzen 5000, even the i5-12600K, even the locked 13th gen CPUs will bottleneck the 7800 XT level of performance. So we're gonna go with a phenomenal value in the Ryzen 7600. Can also get the 7600X, right now selling $199, $199, insane value. And it's gonna give you access to the AM5 platform that's gonna have future upgradability with a drop in upgrade whenever they announce whatever it, Ryzen 8000, 9000, whatever they come out with that's on AM5. This does come with an included stock cooler. The 7600X does not, but don't worry. We're gonna get rid of that thing. We're gonna replace it, but this is a phenomenal value. Speaking of replacing that cooler, I just go with something like the Thermorite Assassin Spirit 120 Evo. This is the updated kind of polished, refined look of the uh, Thermorite Assassin Spirit, which is a high performance budget tower air cooler. We're looking to spend anywhere from like 18 up to 30, $35 here. You can go a little heavier if you want. I like this one, RGB. It's got that nice finished look on the top, $23. For the motherboard, we went with a phenomenal value motherboard. I love the ASRock B650M Pro RS Wi-Fi. This is the board that we used. Look, it doesn't have the greatest of anything, but it's just got all the right features for $125. It's a micro ATX motherboard. If you want an ATX size motherboard, check out our best Ryzen motherboard 2023 guide. We go through a number of them. This has entry level audio, but honestly, if you want to upgrade the audio, you're going to be spending $199 or more. That's why I love a board like this. It's got Wi Fi, it's got Bluetooth, it's got good enough rear I.O., it's got three M.2 slots, which is insane for a micro ATX motherboard because the rest of them only have two. It just kind of really has all the features that you need for $125. For the RAM, we're looking for 6,000 CL30 RAM. And right now, the only kits that are sold at this speed are two by 16 gigabyte or larger kits. So we're gonna end up with 32 gigs. So don't worry about 16 versus 32 gigs here. You're gonna end up with 32 gigs, whether you like it or not. The kits all run about 90 to $100. And there's two that I'm strongly recommending right now. One is the XPG Lancer RGB. You can get the black kit for $95. You can get the white kit RGB for like $97. I'll leave both of them linked down in the video description. The other one I recommend is the Team Force Delta RGB 32 gigabyte kit. Again, DDR5 6000 CL30 comes in white or black for about $93. For the drive, we're just generally looking to get something with DRAM and two terabytes and you're looking to spend here anywhere from 80 up to $100 depending on what kind of drive you want. I picked the T-Force Cardia Zero Z440. It's on a pretty nice little sale even though it doesn't list Black Friday on it. $87, again, DRAM on it. What else do you want for $88? two terabytes. For the power supply, yes, you're gonna know that this is massively oversized for a build. We could do just fine with a 650 watt power supply. However, I decided I wanted something B or A tier rated on the PSU cultist list. So I went with this. We just released our best PSU 2023 buying guide. So if you don't know what I just said, check that out before you buy a PSU, really important. But this one's on super sale right now for $89, 850 watt unit. And honestly, you, I can't even find a 650 or 750 watt unit for less than this. And this is really, really good quality. And then finally for the case, again, you can just pick your whatever case you want. I went with an ATX size case, which is the Antec NX410. Comes with two 140 millimeter ARGB fans in the front and a 120 millimeter ARGB fan in the rear. Gives you pretty much everything you need for $59. If you don't want to use a ATX size case and a micro ATX size motherboard, you can of course use the case that we used in our last build as well. So all told for $1,180 or heck, even $50 cheaper if you went with the RX 6800 XT, you're going to get an insanely performative 1440p, like 240 hertz really in most competitive titles, you would definitely drive a 240 hertz monitor at 1440p, especially if you're playing like CSGO out there, you get tons and tons of frames. And the great news about this build is that you're gonna have a future upgrade path with that AM5 motherboard. You've got a phenomenal GPU in either the RX 7800 XT, the 6800 XT, or the RTX 4070, and that should last you for years to come. Let's jump through some amazing 1440p, 240 hertz gaming monitor deals, because there are some insane deals right now. In fact, look at that price, $299.99. I didn't think we would see that price on a 240 hertz, 1440p, until well into 2024, if at all. But that's what it is for the HP Omen 27QS. This is a phenomenal mid-range 1440p, 240 hertz monitor. 
Really, some of the monitors I'm gonna show you, they all perform about the same. My recommendation is just get the cheapest one unless there's a very specific model that you want. Now, I'll give you this one. It's already sold out once and kind of come back. So $2.99 right now over at Best Buy. My backup to that is the MSI G27 4QPX. Basically, same thing. It's flat, it's IPS, it's 1440p, 240 hertz, $319, both of them are 27 inch. Honestly, these are great monitors, just get the cheaper one. Let's jump into our $2,000 Black Friday premium 4K 240 hertz, or honestly 4K 144 hertz, possibly 240 hertz as well. This is an insanely powerful gaming PC. I finished out at $1,967.92. Now listen, I use some more premium size parts. You could actually probably get this done for more like $1,750 if you wanna downsize some of these some of these parts, but I decided, heck, we got the sales going. Let's get slightly more premium parts than we might normally. Take advantage of those deals as much as we can. Let's start off with the GPU, of course. And honestly, the thing that makes this go is this 7900 XTX. 7900 XTX. You could also go a little bit cheaper and go with the 7900 XT. We'll take a look at the performance right now. Let's talk about pricing because this is where the deals have kind of been in. It looks like you're going to be getting these right around the $900 to $915 price point. Right now, the Fana Gaming one is down there. The Sapphire Pulse is down there. All around that price point. Will we see some bigger deals? I was hopeful. Doesn't look like it, but... Check this out. Again, we tweet out the best deals that we find. Follow me at PC Builder Jason because look what we found. $889 7900 XTX. This is Sapphire Pulse one. Sold at Walmart, but it's sold and shipped by Newegg at Walmart. And that's confusing, right? Then you go to Newegg's site and they're charging $30 more for it. I don't get it but follow us and we're finding the best deals even if they don't make sense sometimes. Let's talk performance for these GPUs uh, and potentially slotting in like a 7900 XT or 4070 Ti. Here's 1440p performance across the 13 game average. This is the TechSpot RTX 4070 review again, which we'll of course leave linked down in the video description for you to check out all the individual titles. But you can see the 7900 XTX, it just really kind of crushes the competition. Other than the 4090, which right now, completely sold out due to what's going on with the ban in China or the ban for China of the 4090s. They're like $2,000 plus. So the 7900 XTX, less than half the price of 4090 right now and almost as much performance at 1440p, slightly edges to 4080. If you are interested in spending maybe like $150 less or so, the 7900 XT is good, uh, good value as well. The 4070 Ti, I would probably pause if you absolutely have to have NVIDIA, wait for the Super Series because they're gonna get 16 gigs of VRAM. I don't like the 4070 Ti with only 12 gigs of VRAM. At 4K, the 7900 XTX absolutely crushes it, 112 average FPS. Remember, this is across a wide range of titles, including ones that turn on ray tracing by default and ultra, ultra details on this. So the 4080 is slightly behind it. 7900 XT does pretty well. It's just under 100 FPS at 4K. Let's jump through the rest of the build. Remember when we're building a gaming PC, you want that big, fast GPU, and then just a CPU that won't bottom like it. But when we hit the top of the stack of GPUs, that's when we're gonna really ramp up our CPU power to squeeze out every last ounce of performance out of our GPU. We got the Ryzen 7 7800X3D, insane levels of performance. Absolutely insane. It has no equal in terms of gaming CPUs out there. I'm gonna warn folks away, I don't like the 7900X3D or 7950X3D. It has to do with the fact that they have two CCDs and they have to turn one of them off in gaming. They don't always turn the right one off and it's kind of a hassle. So I'd recommend the 7800X3D, only one CCD, eight cores, 16 threads, and honestly, super powerful. Even if you wanna do video editing or anything else, this is a super powerful CPU. GPU. For most people out there, you're going to get all the value out of your GPU and out of any other task you want to throw at it. And right now it's $358, super cheap. The cooler, we could get away with a cheaper air cooler. We could do something like the Thermorite Peerless Assassin SE120, which is a two tower cooler for about $30. I said, let's go for the bling on this. Now it says 109, but you get $22 promo code. Check out some of these deep cool coolers, either air coolers or something like the LS520, which is what I use in my build here. Absolutely love it. I set the pump speed about 79, 78%, absolutely silent and still really, really cold. For the motherboard, I went with something more premium. You can certainly go with a cheaper motherboard like we did with the ASRock B650M Pro RS for like $125. I said, let's get the full Monty on this one. I want an Asus ROG Strix B650A gaming Wi-Fi, amazing audio on this board, tons of rear panel, IO, just absolutely everything you need. Now, I have built with the 
compatriot to this, which is the B650F. In my personal gaming PC, I really like it. It's just the black version. It's not on sale though. Get the Strix A. There's really no difference between them except the color. This one looks amazing, and it's got all the features you're gonna need for $199. For the RAM, we just wanna go ahead and get that DDR5 6000CL30 kit. Again, you're gonna end up with a two by 16 kit, minimum because there's no two by eight gigabyte kits out there at this speed. And you can either go again with the T-Force Delta kit like we've shown, or you can go with that Lancer A data kit. I'll leave both of them linked down in the video description. They're both amazing. The only challenge here is this kit has been so popular, it keeps selling out. For the drive, we're gonna stick with a two terabyte drive. Really no reason to go four terabyte, although some of the four terabyte drives are on Supercell right now. If you wanna find like the team group MP34, four terabytes, like $151, but two terabytes should be absolutely fine for our build and I love the Z440. For the case, I've decided to ultra premiumize this part of the build. We recently built in the Deepcool CH560 digital. It's got this really cool uh, LCD screen here with your temps and everything on it. Absolutely amazing. The case is built for pure airflow. It's all metal mesh, kind of almost all the way around. So you can get tons and tons of airflow in this. You can add extra fans, but it comes with 440 millimeter ARGB fans. And then we're gonna stick on the top of it, we're gonna stick our liquid cooler. Should be tons of airflow for this thing. Absolutely love it. It's got all the features that you think it should come with for $114 right now. For the PSU, I'm going with a thousand watt Fantex amp. So on super sale right now for $120, really, really good deal. You can of course get one of the newer ATX 3.0 power supplies. I don't think you have to, you don't need the 12 volt high power connector. It's not an NVIDIA GPU. You're gonna just go ahead and use eight pin connectors for this. I think this is a great unit for $120. So all told for $1,967, we got a super premium gaming PC. Now, of course, remember you could do this, quite a bit cheaper. We've gone pretty premium on some of these to take advantage of all those sales and get some really, really great features with it. It's gonna look amazing. It's gonna perform amazingly, either at high FPS 1440p or high FPS 4K. Just take your pick, pick the right monitor for it. And the great thing is with the Ryzen 7800X 3D, in the future, when this five years becomes obsolete, we're just gonna drop in a drop in upgrade with the Ryzen 8000, 9000, whatever they call the next AM5 CPU. Let's punch through some amazing monitors. Monitors, amazing monitors. Let's start off with a good 4K 144 hertz alternative. This is the MAG 274 UPF by MSI. And honestly, this was introduced not too long ago, around $700 US. It's selling for $379 right now. In fact, it completely sold out of Amazon. It's available at Best Buy as I do this. If this sells out, I will leave some alternatives linked down in the video description, so check those out. And we also went through a lot of monitors in our gaming deals, so check out that gaming deals video as well. This is a phenomenal 144 hertz, 27 inch, 4K monitor, this is great response time. Overall, it compares very favorably to like the M28U and other monitors at this spec. So 379 is totally insane. If you're looking for something OLED and you want something that'll still sit on your desk, the LG 27 inch 1440p 240 Hertz OLED monitor is insanely good. Its competitor is the ASUS monitor. The ASUS monitor is still selling for about $100 more. Um, might leave both of them linked down in the video description if you wanna compare. Honestly, the difference between them is very, very thin. Very, very thin. The LG is absolutely worth it at 779. Remember, OLED is amazing HDR, amazing goodness, especially 240 hertz, 1440p. Of course, there's an insane deal out there. I don't know how this is happening, but we have this Samsung 49 inch OLED G9. The OLED G9, not the regular G9 that often goes down to about $1,000 and is about two years old, but 1440p, 240 hertz OLED, that's right, it's like basically taking two 27 inch monitors, slamming them together, removing the bezel in the middle, and $999, this thing was like $1,600 just a couple months ago. Remember, everything's linked down in the video description, so check out those links for pricing and availability in your region, and I'll swap anything out that goes out of stock. If you got value out of this video, give it a like, it makes a huge difference to the channel, and of course, subscribe, click that bell icon, that way you get notified when we release cool content, and we'll catch you on the next one.